Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Ben I Saw Guy. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is actually another how-to video. And this is having to do with your YouTube videos and stuff like that. So anyway, as you can see, I just uploaded another video right here, which you probably should have already seen yesterday. And I did an update or a quick tour of the new Water Channel update for Windows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you guys how to put some annotations in that. So that way you might be able to expand your audience a little bit more and then get people to subscribe to you more if they, you know, like the content that you produce. But the problem is that not everyone's going to check the description, especially the ones that are using their mobile devices to watch YouTube videos. Like, a lot of people do use the computer and watch it from their browser, but they might want to click an annotation link as well in order to see more of your content. So anyway here, what you're going to do is click on edit annotations once you find a video that you want to edit them on, like so. And then you're going to get this user interface right here. So as you can see, there's my intro right there. And it gives you a little time run, timeline right hey, here. So as you can see, there I am right now. And you see this logo right here. I want to add an annotation to that so that way people can click on that to subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to click edit or add annotation right here. And you can do different ones, you know, speech bubble, no title, spotlight, label, pause. I've actually never used any one of these annotations right here. I always use the spotlight one because I just think the spotlight gives it a cleaner look. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that, for example, my annotation is right here, as you see it. And sometimes, like, I, I would get it a little bit off, like, maybe a little bit too far out. And that's the problem. And, like, I won't be able to see where the borders are, like, where the edges of the logo are. Which, especially, that's even worse if you got black on black. So, I don't think anybody will notice uh a difference right there but if there was a definitely a color background right here then yeah people will be able to notice that anyway here's the spotlight right here and it's also right here it gives you when it started putting that annotation in there and when it ended now I want this to go for the whole video so we're gonna skip around to see where I I'll want it here and I'll tell you what is available for the map tell guy to stay updated on what I'm doing and Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my logo at the uh, top right hand corner and I will see you guys in a All right, so I'm gonna keep it about there as you can see it ended at 540 right there So what I'm gonna do is put zero right here and then I'm gonna put 40 and then I'm gonna go back here and go to five All right, there you go And it doesn't seem to work so or you could just drag it as well if you want so I'm going to keep it right about there. Okay, Next that should video. do it. Maybe that's a little bit too far off. Let me change this here. All right, so zero, and if we go back, you can actually drag this line around too if you want. So stay updated on what, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, so that annotation link disappeared a little bit all right now the this was the video that I was doing before which was what do I think uh, which was about Mac versus PC debates so what I'm gonna do is right click on the no actually let's right click to the video manager okay so I'm gonna open it in a new tab and I'm gonna open this link first so I'm gonna open it up in a new tab and then I'm gonna copy this link right here and I'm going to put another annotation right here. I'm going to go back to Spotlight. Okay, so right about there for part one of my what do I think video here. Uh, we'll keep it about... I can't move my mouse. Okay, that, that's fine enough. Okay, now I'm going to click the link right here. And this is the different types of links. So you can link it to another video, you can link it to a playlist, a channel, or subscribe. So subscribe, that's what I should have done on my logo. I'm gonna go back and, and do that really quick. Okay, and I'm gonna paste the link right here and then people will be able to click on that annotation to view that particular video right there. So I'm actually gonna 
go back a little bit here. I, I do apologize for that. I'm going to click a link right here, and I'm going to go to the subscribe link right here, and I'm just going to type in my username. As you can see, there it is. Okay. Save and publish. Yada, yada, yada. All right, now, if you guys see that your video isn't playing any sound, all you have to do is basically just adjust the sound a little bit, and then your sound will come back. Uh, I don't know why. That might be a glitch, or that might be because I'm using Safari itself. I use Safari because it's actually faster. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another annotation link, and I'm going to do another spotlight. And what I'm going to do is put it right here, like so. And I'm going to go to part two of my video, so we don't have to keep that tab open. Open link a new tab. All right, so there's part two of my series video here. And I'm gonna copy that link, oops, wrong tab. And I'm gonna go to link right here. Videos right there, okay. And I'm gonna paste the link right here. And then I'm gonna drag this all the way to the very end. All right, so. And this started at 5.41.1, so that's what I'm going to do because I want these to be appeared at the same time. Alright, so there we go. I got some annotations right there, and then I'm going to publish. Now, I, I do have another link right here because I do want to uh, post a down link for the Water Channel application right there. But I'm not going to board you guys and put that on there. So, if we go back to my video, oh, that bubble isn't there anymore. Alright, so we'll just go back to the video manager here. And we'll view that video. Where you would see it. And as you can see, there's the annotation link right there. There's one of them. Okay, you click on that. Subscribe to Ben. I saw got better way. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button right here. <laughs> anyway, and then we'll go to the end right here. And then there's the link for my two videos right there. And you do have the option to key to have those open in a new window as well, which I should have done that. So that way nobody would leave out of my video so I'm gonna click open link in a new window and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one which I thought I put a link in there but it looks like I didn't anyway guys this was basically just a quick tutorial on how to put annotations in your videos let me know what you guys think if you're having any problems with annotations go ahead and leave a comment down below maybe someone can help you out and maybe I can help you out as well and hopefully this will increase your subscriber base or your your audience base for your YouTube channel. Anyway guys, this was a quick tutorial. Go ahead and click the subscribe button above. Just click on my logo at the top right hand corner and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben and I will see you guys in the next video.